Hoping you're doing well. Welcome back in another lesson. Today we're gonna see how to customize camera's buttons and how some buttons work. I mean, very functions. So let's dive into the topic. In the last lessons, we saw some button function, and also today we're gonna see something like that. In nature photography, often it's vital being fast on field, like to use the right button at the right moment, or switch to a specific function in order to achieve a proper goal. So today we are gonna see this button, AF on, AL function, movie, delete, and the shutter button, the king button of every camera. This button has the function to activate the autofocus system of the camera. Furthermore, it checks the exposition. Usually, it's pretty comfortable to use it because it's near the fan, so it comes naturally to use with it. Someone might think that there's already a button with that function. Yes, the shutter button. Actually, it's true, but for having the autofocus system active, you have to half press the shutter button, so that button has a double function, instead of the AF on button that has only one function. When is it useful? In my opinion, this button. It's useful just to check the image exposition and if it's in focus, without being sure to not shoot any picture. But it's true that you can change the function of the button, maybe in one more useful for you. As always, check out the camera user menu to know how to personalize the camera's buttons. Auto Exposure Lock. As the name says, this button check and lock the exposition. So until you press that button, the exposition of the camera will not change. The exposition, of course, will get using the exposition meter of the camera, based on, ex uh, on exposition method, method used, I mean matrix, matrix, spot, central. I use a lot of this button when I want it not to bar whites, knowing that I'll be able to recover the darkest part of the image in post-production. Okay, every camera has this button. But I'm pretty sure that every camera has set a different function. So, as always, check out your camera menu. Anyway, usually this button shows a page in the screen where I select different functions. So we might call it as a multifunction uh, button. The good thing of this, of this button is that you can change the function shown on the screen. So you can set the most used for you. I think this button doesn't have to be explained. Basically, the movie button records a video. That's it. Of course, it, uh, it'll use the video setting of your camera uh, that you have set before. So, easy and simple. Do you want to check out your last picture or video? Okay, that's the right button. Press it just to see the last saved image or video. But pressing another button, you can see different options. I'm sure you know this button. Without introducing it, this button allows to delete images and video as well. For deleting a photo, once you get into, the, into replay mode, Select the image you want to delete and finally press the delete button, where likely will ask you a confirmation. If, but if you are sure, not like me, confirm the operation. In every camera, there's a shutter button, and every shutter button has two functions. The first one is to focus and expose well your image, and the second one is to take photos. The focus function is achieved by pressing the shutter button. That moment, your camera will start to focus. Depending, yeah, depending your setting, and will start to analyze the light in order to get the right exposition. Until you'll keep half press the shutter button, the camera keep going to focus, but once you'll full press the shutter button, the image will be stored in the memory card. Also this button can be personalized, and the first thing you can do is to remove the focus uh, function and to use the AFN on button for that, keeping only the shot function. In my case, I prefer keeping the autofocus and the shoot function in the uh, shutter button, and to use the um, AF on for focusing on animal eyes. Well guys, and also today is all. Tell me doubts and requests in the comment section below. I'll be really glad to answer to you, as well as if you subscribe the channel. And if you liked this video, please give me a like. See you next time, bye bye.